Two thirds of all Fortune 500 uh, CEOs have one thing in common, military background. Really? Two thirds of those two thirds have something else, which you can probably relate to, martial arts. Really? What do you learn in martial arts, Brian? Discipline, focus, right? Yes. Do I have to? I don't need to write, write this book for you, right? <laughs> no, okay. those are good. Okay, okay. So it, it changed my life. And people say, why did it take you 20 years to create? Well, of course, 50, 50 billion dollars is a lot of money. But I mean, where it only took me eight years to do the 450 million because I'm having a deal with thousands of people. And um, the, uh, and, uh, but my, my success rate grew geometrically when I started the mentor program. Why is that, do you think? Because I'm one on one beating you <laughs> with the greatest respect, at least weekly. And in your case, you'd be a daily guy. Oh, man. A daily. Now, just imagine listening <laughs> everything you... you goddamn do from the time you get up in the morning to go to sleep. And you can probably tell if I'm lying, right? Absolutely. Right. Okay. And if I think you're lying, I call you. I don't Skype you. I, don't, I just call you, and you better pick up the goddamn phone. <laughs> now, this isn't everybody's cup of tea, and I realize that. Right. Because when you talk or you hear people talk about being a one percenter, that's not my goal for my people. It's one-tenth of a percent. Let's just say we've got seven billion people on the earth. It's actually more, but let's call it seven billion. One tenth of a percent is seven million. My market is the seven million. To make you one of the richest seven million people on the planet, which means you're not making $400,000 a year, which would make you a one percenter. It means you're making multiple millions of dollars a year. I had an email, uh, it's part of the ebook uh, that I just wrote. A guy over Christmas is my Christmas present. He says, Dan, I know you're going to use this in your next book, but uh, I've made, I put $50 million cash in the bank. I mentored him for, for five, six years straight. Then he went off on his own. $50, $60 million in the bank, cash, not deals. I had another email during the seminar, and I read it to the kids. Since 2010, when I went to the seminar, I made $200 million. And this guy couldn't give, with the greatest respect, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this guy couldn't give away ice to an Eskimo. And you straightened him out. Yeah, yeah. He doesn't love me, but I'm not here for their love. 20 years from now, all I want is their respect. Why are you doing this? I mean, like, you, you stop doing business to your own, and you're mentoring these people. You're, you know, you, that could be the evolution of, of you. You're giving back a little bit, as opposed to being completely self-centered no, in the generation. Giving back a lot. Involved. A lot. Not a little bit. Okay. A lot. A lot. Why do it? You ever look at, look at why well, yeah, you do sure it? Yeah, sure I do, and I get asked all the time. The mm -hmm. median I just came from, in the city. The guys, when they're walking me to the lift, which the Brits still do. Are they walk you to the lift? Yeah. Huh? And he says... Why, Dan? I'll walk you to the lift. Okay, right. yeah. Well, you had to go and come get me in the, out of the street because yeah. I went to the wrong building. I was okay. being British, too. Okay, and I said, because, uh, you know, I can't say that this was my goal when I started, but in the last 10, 12 years, it's evolved, it's morphed. I've pivoted because now I found a way to make it even more successful, and nobody, and nobody likes success more than I do. And I get off. I've got a guy that had one O-level in carpentry. You know what an O-level is? No. Okay, O-level is you're 16 years old, you don't go to school, on to school, and you take O-levels for ordinary, call ordinary grades. One guy with an O-level, we did a $400 million public to private deal here in London. One O-level, public to private, 400 million bucks. Nobody on the planet can do that. Or nobody has done it, I should say. And the guy had one O-level. All right, so you okay. take pride in your men. Oh, business. I mean, I do. And, uh, and I beat him like a rented mule. Okay. But see, I'm like Tom Landry, the coach, former coach of the um, Dallas Cowboys. Cowboys. Yeah, Cowboys. I do what you Who's know, yet? what you don't want to do, but to, that you know that you got to do to be where you want to be. Or what's the first thing that you see when people walk in as far as the most common thing you see from people uh, that, that, that they need to change? Lack of uh, self-assurance. Really? Lack of self-esteem. Uh, lack of self-worth. Now they think they have self-worth. Right. They think because they made a few bucks. But in actuality, and when they measure it against the other 8, 10, 12 people sitting around the table, they realize or they start to question, hell, maybe I was just lucky. Now all of us, when you're only a one-trick guy or gal, think, was I lucky? 
Now, I've done it so many times, I know I'm, I wasn't lucky. I might have been lucky the first time, but I'm not, I haven't been lucky the 15, 20, 40, 50, 60. I know that. Okay. But maybe I was lucky the first time. Um, and maybe that's why I get such uh, a great feeling of pulling the guys uh, against the, uh, across the goal line. But they all have a, it's like the first date you ever went on. Do you remember asking the girl? Yeah, I think so. Terrified. Okay. okay. I was too. I practiced in front of the mirror. Uh, I practiced in front of my mom. I practiced in front of my little dog. Uh, and I was still scared when I asked her. And then I saw her at our 30 year high school reunion and I said, Dan, my God, why were you worried about asking this woman out? <laughs> A lot of people that come there, you know, with money that have made money think they made it by accident. Right. I just had one of my superstars who's made 100 million bucks tell me in the last week, you know, I'm not sure I'm going to have another lucky accident. It's the first time he ever said that to me. Okay. I mean, my neck almost went around like in The Exorcist. And, uh, and I said, you did it. I mean, you, you know, you tried a lot of things. I believe, Thomas Edison, I, would, I wouldn't have done it 10,000 times. Okay. I would have hired an engineer from MIT to do it. <laughs> but I mean, uh, I've tried a lot of things. Nobody's failed at more things than I have. And the first 100 million are successes, but I could write a book about failures that would be like Churchill's volumes, The History of World War II. I mean, because I've tried a lot of different things. Because test, failure is just testing. And uh, one of the reasons I've been so successful in generating this equity and value in my kids, and I call you all kids, is because I convince them that making a mistake is okay. Our parents tell, your parents probably told you, you can be anything you want. Question is, you know, to you that is the ultimate metric of success. No, no. The money's not the only thing in life but it's the only thing anybody keeps track of. <laughs> it's measurable, accountable. Since the pharaohs, okay, right. size of the pyramids, etc. Okay. It's a metric you can keep track Correct. of. Correct. I wouldn't okay. say it's the only thing people keep no, track no, of. No, no, it's the only thing that you write down, you know, I, I keep track of the lives I change now. That's a new metric for me. Okay, that's a good metric. I like that. Okay. Metric. I hadn't really thought about it, whether it's Zen or not. It probably is Zen. It is a little okay, more Zen, okay. yes. Uh, but don't give me too much credit for Zen, that I, more than I deserve. But it's not for everybody. But what I give you, Brian, is the ability to have more choices. I have more, I'm, I'm just assuming I have more money than you. So I'm, 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 I'm going to say that I have a lot more choices than you do. Because you have more money than me. Correct. And I can do, I support three orphanages. I support 160 girls my wife and I adopted. We support 25 nuns, a few priests. Uh, uh, we support uh, the uh, prevention for cruelty to animals. We support all kinds of stuff because I have more choices in life. I take four or five months a year traveling with my lovely wife because we can make more choices because we have been successful. I've worked over 40 years. She's almost worked 30 years. <laughs>